Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We do have a fun haver RTR Mustang here in Assetto Corsa. Big thank you to Vakari for hooking me up with this. This is a very correct RTR Mustang with all different kinds of power. Vakari does work for RTR. So this is a the most accurate RTR probably you can get. So big thank you to him for hooking me up with this. Definitely going to be having fun with this ripping this. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll follow the description box below. Let's get to it. So as I said, this is a very accurate RTR. So the way this car reacts is very uh, uh, pronounced just like the real cars. There is a lot of suspension play and a lot of angle this car can throw. So definitely going to need to kind of take a little easy on it at first. Don't want to go straight into bumper budgeting this car. So with this, we do have some type S lights and things like that. So the car has a lot of tuning ability to change power and stuff like that, which I'll show you guys a little bit, but this car is definitely super crazy. So we're going to do a little bit of a sight lap sideways, but not like to wall to wall, just to get a taste for this car initially. Oh, stay about a This car throws so much angle. Oh my gosh. And you can see that really soft suspension. Overall, not too shabby of a run for the first run in this car. We will be changing up views and, of course, going into first person and things like that. But I like to see the car in third because I love to see how the car reacts and things like that when I'm first driving it. So overall, not a bad first run. We're going to go try and get a more aggressive line, but the car does feel very insane and super rowdy i think this is on the thousand horsepower tune i will show you guys what i mean by different tunes that this car has for power and nitrous setups all the way from like 700 to like 1200 or 1200 horsepower so second run out third person let's see what we can do try not to have to cones this car's a big girl you can see right there definitely utilized almost all of that Steering lock and I kind of stalled it there. Oh, okay, that's that's more than a bumper budget. That's kind of a fender budget So sorry, Vakari to wreck the RTR So the one thing I've noticed with this car is when I get into massive lock with it I have a hard time bringing it back and that's just the way the car drives something you really have to get used to and in the hands of a car This car is a monster See right there, I was almost full lock and the car just started to float. That's a bumper budget. Oh, that's more than a bumper budget. The bumper does not crimple as much as, say, in real life. So we're going to go into first person in Vicari's tune. And then we're going to maybe dumb the power down a little bit to try and uh, get more used to it. Because going right off the rip at 1,000 horsepower may not be the best thing for me in this Mustang, seeing as how I... Haven't really driven this car too much. And uh, Vicari just said, here's the keys. Have a nice day. And, well, let's not hit these cones. As I did. It's a big car. Overall, not too bad, though. Kind of came on that a little bit late. Oh, there's another bumper. <laughs> so we're down two bumpers already. Two bumpers, maybe a car, but we're just going <clears> to <throat> track that one off as a bumper. So definitely something with the steering that is something I would really have to get used to if I drove this car a lot. It does feel very different than what I'm used to, but you know what? It does feel very good when you get it right. This car is very uh, forgiving when you get it right, very unforgiving when you get it wrong. See right there, way too much angle. I threw way too much angle and could not get the car to come back. So let's go back to pits. And I will show you guys what I mean right here. Nitrous maps, 1050, 1100, 1150, 1200, 
ball 135 you can always and you can also go down to 850 and no nitrous at 762 so let's run it at 762 probably gonna have to dial that gear ratio back a little bit so let's run this car on basically all motor no nitrous and see what we can do with this car here and maybe change tracks after this to a <clears throat> Like I said, big girl, big car. Just a restart code, no big deal. Maybe hit up a very fast track where we can actually stretch the legs of this car. Through the cones, there we go. Probably need third gear. Oh, I kind of like it on lower power. Kind of suits more of my style. Okay, so lower power suits a little bit better to how I like to drive. Maybe having too much power off the rip was a bad idea. But we're going to go one more run, then we'll take a look at those last two, these last two runs in third person. Or in the replay camera so we can see where we're at on course. I know we were a bit shallow on a bunch of these lines, but definitely want to see where we were truly at. Also, once again, can't take the car enough. Okay, let me get my hands on this beautiful RTR. This fun hammer machine, definitely a lot of fun. All right, full send. Through the cones, there we go. Third gear. Oh, I trucked it way too much. We're gonna get a mulligan on that one. I set that way too hard. And that's the curse of how quickly this car can rotate to angle. If you're not ready for it, um, as you can see, it bites you. Definitely want to get Makari on here, get him in the ch in a lobby, and see him actually rip this car himself. That's going to be the wall. <laughs> I knew that was coming. So let's go take a look at the run prior to these two and see exactly where we were so this is the last run where we wrecked it it's a run four so let's take a look at this run right here and we'll see what it looked like and then we're going to change up track to a track we could probably stretch the legs and see maybe if we can get some really fast runs out of it this rtr not an easy car this car is rowdy as can be and this car is fast when it's fully strung out. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. At the beginning of the zone, it's not a big deal. Definitely almost dragon ball from there. And a little bit of off that zone. So overall, not too, too bad. Could have done way better. But, you know, first couple times driving this car, you know, it's definitely not an easy feat with this car by any means. A lot deeper there and that's that hard snap angle if you notice that just snapped angle really quick so let's go change up tracks catch you guys we're on grid so we're here going to try and stretch the legs of the rtr we should be able to stretch this car in fourth gear here so let's go full send got the type s lights underneath Oh yeah. No, as I say that, I hit the angle lock. Oh, that was almost going to be the perfect run. So this is definitely more of a track that I'm more comfortable in with this car. Uh, Long Beach, definitely a very hard course and uh, not very room for errors. So let's go full send and do this RTR some justice. I think there's still so much angle. Oh, and we could not catch it into that. The car transitions so fast that if you are not ready for it, this car will definitely over-rotate on you for sure. 
and I've noticed that if you haven't noticed the past two times this car rotates so quick and it's just it would take a, it's a little bit of a learning curve this car is not this car is all oh, cones this car is an amazing car it feels great when you get everything right just takes a minute to get it all right and just like there we are over that cone so this car definitely benefits you when you do it right but it also uh, when you do it wrong oh it does wrong so this car is definitely very awesome big thank you to the car once again want to get him in here and see how he drives this thing get this thing in his hands that angle throw is just insane and I'm not ready for it definitely uh, a huge learning curve with me for driving this RTR I'm gonna want to drive this car a lot more though want to get used to this car definitely a very fun car get those type S lights on Cut that a little shallow to try and just float the car out to the wall. And it is definitely probably not tuned the greatest for this track or for me personally. Now, if I, I'm going to sit here and probably do some tuning on this car to try and maybe make it slightly better for my driving style. Because that's what I'm noticing when I drive a lot of other people's cars. I have to adapt my style and kind of drive how they do. a little bit better though kind of cut that short and kind of just float it out so definitely having a hard time getting it into this inner wall and that's probably just a testament to a little bit of lack of training in the car I'm gonna try and get with Vakari maybe get some uh, tips and tricks from him and some pointers and revisit this car for sure probably with him and try and throw down some tandems with this car because I'm very interested in trying to learn this car oh that is such a hard transitional snap that I need to get used to it could be my wheel settings too but that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa a big thank you to Vakari for getting me this RTR and a little smoky burnout to end the episode off so make sure you guys follow me on all social media <laughs> that was really loud make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the transcription box below and as always like thank you guys for coming back and watching we will be revisiting this car and I will get with Vakari and get him in here. And we're going to do some tandems with it. And definitely going to get some tips and tricks from him to get this car dialed so I can drive this car just as good as he does. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>